Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today, I am going to be talking about rockets. Let's fly in. Rockets and its history. Did you know the word rocket can mean different things? Most people think of a tall, thin, round vehicle. They think of a rocket that launches into space. Rocket can also mean a type of engine. The word or the word or also can mean a vehicle that uses that engine. The principles of rocketry were first tested more than 2,000 years ago. The first rockets were used in China in the 1200s. The solid rockets were used for fireworks and by the armies. The fathers of rockets are Russian Konstantin E. Tsvolsky published what is now known as a rocket equation. Robert Goddard, who was an American physicist who sent the first liquid fuel alo rocket aloft. Herman Oberth, he imagined a recoil rocket that would move through space using only its exhaust. This was put into use by the Germans in World War II. Making a rocket A rocket has four main parts. The nose cone, uh, the fins, rocket body and the rocket engine. The uh, payload is in the nose cone. The common payloads include astronauts, satellites, scientific instruments and even explosives. Most rocket engines use the combustion of reactive chemicals to supply the necessary energy, but there are uh, rocket engines which uh, form with coal gas thrusters and nuclear thermal rockets. Fins. Fins provide the stability during the flight and it allows the rocket to maintain its intended flight path. Rocket body, it houses the fuel and also reduces the drag force in the rocket. Launching process. Now, there are two types of launching progress process. One is serial staging. In serial staging, there is a small second stage rocket that is placed on top of a larger first stage rocket. The first stage engine is then extinguished. The second stage separates from the first stage and the second stage is ignited. So basically it's like um, A is on top of B and B is a bigger uh, than A. So when a B ignites after a certain height the uh, first stage rocket like uh, discards from the second stage leaving the main second stage rocket to fly now parallel staging at launch all the engines are ignited when the propellants in the strap-ons are, are extinguished the strap-on rockets are discarded the sustainer engine continues burning and the payload is carried atop the sustainer rocket into the orbit. Parallel staging is used on the space shuttle. So this kind of shuttle or uh, staging is where you have more like uh, two engines on the sides which are known as strap-ons which give the extra thrust for the rocket. Whereas in serial staging there is there are two engines but after one discard, only the second remains. But in parallel staging, there are three engines in uh, like where the first two discard. But there are also few areas where there are three engines, two attached to the side and one uh, one more huge engine which is also discarded. launch pads or launch sites. The closer a launch site is to the equator, the more efficient it is. Launch sites at higher altitudes more are more easily placed satellites into the orbits that pass over the poles and um, 
one of the uh, major um, launch uh, sites of pads are, are located in USA, India, uh, Russia, China, and other countries. So there are also many different organizations of uh, which you know have these launch pads, and in few of these uh, launch sites, there have uh, been uh, instances where humans have been sent to space. So those are the ones marked in the circle with the dot, and the others are also different launch pads. Use of rockets. As I told you in the previous slide, that uh, rockets were used as fireworks uh, in the uh, one thousand two hundred and later by the armies. Rockets can be used in many wars or uh, for propelling missiles to their targets. They are also used by space agencies to send spaceships and satellites to explore more about space and celestial bodies. In another example, Elon Musk has proposed a city to city travel by rocket right here on earth with the objective of anywhere, anywhere on earth in under an hour. Some famous rockets. Saturn V was a famous rocket which was uh, used in doing the Apollo missions. Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy is the currently the most powerful operational rocket existing. Delta. Delta is a series of rockets which are one of the biggest. Prithvi. Prithvi is an Indian uh, rocket which was a short range ballistic missile. Chandrayaan. Chandrayaan is also another Indian rocket which was first one of the first to five water molecules in the moon. Atlas. Atlas is also a set of U US missiles. Titan. Titan was a set of expandable rockets. Jupiter C. It was a research and development vehicle. PSLV C-37. This was the first rocket to carry 104 satellites, which is a world record, and it originates from India. Major space organizations. China National Space Administration, CNSA, European Space Agency, ESA, Indian Space Research Organization ISRO, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency JAXA, National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, Russian Federal Space Agency RFSA or Roscosmos. <laughs>